Hello and welcome to the future of vine weevil control from ICL. In our first webinar, Martin Donnelly will be taking you through our new biorational product picture. Martin, over to you. Hello and welcome to this first webinar on Picture GR, a new biorational product for the control of black vine weevil. In this series of three webinars, we will take you through the products, how to integrate them using IPM planning techniques, and then finally, and very importantly, good application techniques and advice. The future of vine weevil control will be quite challenging going forward with the loss of certain key chemical actives. But we at ICL are confident we can take growers through this process and with good planning and good advice, we can help them to gain good control of this very damaging pest. Picture GR is a granular biorational insecticide. It is part of an IPM solution to the problem of black vine weevil. There is no resistance or re-entry periods and it has low impact on non-target organisms. As I said, Pitcher is a new birational insecticide and it is for the suppression of black vine weevil eggs and the very early instars. This is a first in UK horticulture as the traditional approach is to uh, attack the larval stage and the adult stage. This product is approved through an extension of authorization for minor use, also known as an EMU and it is for containerized ornamental plants, both protected and outdoors. Picture has been introduced into the UK by ICL Professional Horticulture in partnership with EcoSpray. EcoSpray are an independent UK-based biopesticide company. They have researched and developed uh, a registered extract of garlic for use as a pesticide after many years of research. It is now approved in a range of crops, both protected and outdoors in Europe and across the world. In the UK, with ICL, it is approved for the use on ornamental plant production. So what is it? Picture GR is derived from garlic and garlic is known to have pesti pesticidal properties. But what and why has been unclear over the years. M much research has shown that the active substances contained within the garlic are what are known as polysulfides. There is now a clear understanding of what these substances do when they enter a, uh, an organism. And there has now been a, a, a registered stabilized form of garlic introduced to the UK as a pesticide with consistent performance. So how is it created? When garlic is subjected to mechanical stress in a, in a very particular way and, and precise way, it releases two sulfur compounds, uh, dialyl sulfides, allyl and allicin. After that, what is released subsequently are what known as polysulfides. And these are what do the work and attack the pest that we're interested in, the vine weevil eggs. There are many of these polysulfides and they are all between one and six sulfur atoms in a linear chain. And each one of them has been mapped by EcoSpray over many years to test their efficacy and effectiveness against different pests and pathogens. And with every one that's been mapped, and where the efficacy has been proven, these are then used and put into a formulated product. So there is a known effect from each one of these polysulfides. So the mode of action, when a vine weevil egg encounters dial or polysulfide, which we will call DAS, the molecule in the growing media then penetrates through the organism. The rate of passage through the cuticle of the organism will be dependent on the sulfur chain length 
And as I previously explained, it can be between one to six sulfur atoms in a linear chain. Once the DAS dissolves through the cuticle of the organism, a lethal biochemistry ensues. Now, this is what is known as a destructive process. So the action of the DAS is initiated following a reaction with what we call intracellular low molecular weight vials and protein vials, otherwise known as LMTs. This leads to a, a disruptive cascade chain reaction within the organism. Now, the organism cannot regulate this because this is what we call oxidative stress. So what the organism needs to do is try and mitigate this stress within itself. And to do that, it needs to expend a massive amount of energy. It will be unable to mitigate this stress over time and because of that, it will eventually die. Now, because this is purely a, an oxidative stress reaction, that is why we do not envisage seeing any resistance with the use of this product over many years. Application, Pritchu is a granular insecticide, so it will be applied as a top dress over containerized ornamentals. Application can be via a gloved hand, although this is not a preferred method, or a suitable handheld application device. This will be covered in one of our later webinars uh, where more advice will be given. When to apply, it is important to know when to apply picture for maximum efficacy and therefore understanding the bioremoval life cycle, a life cycle is a key part of utilizing this product. It is very important to realize that under protected situations all stages of the the vine weevil life cycle can be present and so thorough monitoring would need to be occurring all through the year to make certain that accurate monitoring levels are maintained a minimum of period of six weeks should be observed after the initial application before any subsequent treatments of picture or beneficial nematodes can be applied this is stated on the EMU, and there is another reason for that. That's because we do need to protect nematodes because the other registration for this product in the UK is as a nematocyte. Picture is not affected by temperature fluctuations like some of the biological products. It is purely a slow release granule. And once it touches the compost surface, it will release steadily over a known period of six weeks. Pitcher must be used as part of an integrated pest management regime. For this, you can always talk to your technical area sales manager or distributor representative or myself. So to understand how to use this, what we're, what we're looking at now is the classic vine weaver life cycle based on an outdoor crop. And if we look at the egg stage, which is highlighted in blue at the top of this slide, you will see that the, the normal time of year is from late April, May up until mid-July for the adult laying season. Now, this can obviously change depending on seasons and temperature, but this is the classic time. And by using monitoring, techniques and looking for adults and maybe using adult traps, which will be covered in a later seminar, a webinar, sorry, um, we can work out the best time to apply this product. As far as rates of use go, the maximum individual dose on the EMU is 240 kilos per hectare per season. This converts to 24 grams per square meter. Based on trials data, two applications at 120 kilos per hectare provides meaningful suppression of vine weevil eggs. This converts to 12 grams per square meter for a single application. There would need to be six weeks between these applications if the 12 gram weight rate was to be used. Application timing is critical in order to affect eggs and young instars while they are near the surface of the container. 
after application it's always very important to irrigate the granules to make sure they are activated effectively and please note again the efficacy levels of pitcher are not influenced by temperature fluctuations current registrations focus on its use as a soil applied nematicide and obviously pitcher is an emu of that use future developments will see it used as a mainstream insecticide and fungicide for both soil and topical foliar treatments throughout these developments pitcher will be an exclusive brand name for icl and it will always fit well into programs to reduce reliance on conventional chemistry in many instances these can be less effective and less acceptable environmentally so this product will be part of a soil health improvement program too and be used as part of an ipm idm anti-resistant strategy so now i'd like to just go into the stockbridge technology center trials to just explain how we arrived at the rates of use for picture and to prove the efficacy so the picture gi stc trial was conducted at stockbridge technology center near york we conducted the trials using heuchera plants which are known to be favored by the vine weevil adult this was to assess the efficacy of picture against viable vine weevil eggs. The first trial we conducted was for the efficacy of mortality of these eggs. And each pot had 15 viable eggs placed just under the surface, very precisely. And then we had a control, which is on the left hand side, and then various rates of picture up to the maximum individual dose of 240 kilos per hectare and as we can see from this first slide the mean percentage of mortality increases in line with the rate increase up to almost 100 percent control at the 240 kilo rate what is very key to us is to note the 120 kilo rate which again is given upwards of 80 percent control so the grower now will have the choice of two applications at the 120 kilo rate or one application of 240 kilo rate and this gives the grower options depending on the vine weevil population after they've monitored the situation we then looked at the the number of larvae that would be recovered after treatment and again on the left hand side we had the untreated and then going down right to the right hand side is the maximum label rate and again this is the mean number of larvae recovered so as you go right on the scale you can see again there is a, a rate response so the higher the rate the more mortality of the larval stage. Again, if we look at the 120 kilo rate, which would give the grower two applications in a season, we can see that the mean number of larvae has dropped considerably and is deemed to be commercially acceptable as a reduction. Again, if there's a high population, the grower can decide to go for one application at the 240 kilo rate which again has almost decimated the larval population. Thank you. If you have any questions on this, please contact your technical area sales manager or myself.